1953, CIA officer Richard Helms chose Dr. Sidney Gottlieb to run the technical services staff. The TSS was given the job of developing poisons to assassinate political opponents, truth serum drugs for interrogating spies, and mind control techniques to create unwitting double agents, couriers, and robot assassins. Dr. Gottlieb used Nazi scientists and their state-of-the-art mind control techniques that had been perfected in concentration camps using victims of the Holocaust. The knowledge the Germans had accumulated at the expense of human life and suffering was considered a booty of war by the Americans and the Russians. The Americans tracked down Dr. Hubertus Strughold, the aviation doctor who was in charge of the Dachau experiments. With full knowledge that the experiments were conducted on captive humans, including prisoners of war, the U.S. recruited the doctors to work for them. General Dwight D. Eisenhower gave his personal approval to exploit the work and research of the Nazis in the death camps. The German doctors were brought to the U.S. and went to work for Project Paperclip. All these doctors had been insulated against war crime charges. The Nuremberg, the Nuremberg prosecutors were shocked that the U.S. authorities were using the German doctors despite their criminal past. Under the leadership of Dr. Strughold, 34 scientists accepted contracts from pa Project Paperclip and were moved to Randolph Air Force Base at San Antonio, Texas. These personalities began to work on human radiation studies, aviation medicine, microwave technology, and mind control experiments. The authorization to hire these Nazi scientists came directly from the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The top military brass stated that they wished to exploit these rare mines. Operation Paperclip eventually recruited 9,000 Nazi scientists and technicians to help the United States destroy the USSR. Some of these scientists were known as programmers, people skilled at the art of breaking down and controlling the human mind. Dr. Joseph Mengele and others experimented, experimented extensively with children and adults using mescaline, electroshock therapy, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, torture, rape, starvation, and trauma bonding in an effort to control the human mind. Dr. Mengele was so successful using the technique of trauma bonding that sur survivors today still exhibit a profound affection for their torturer, referring to Dr. Mengele as Beautiful Joseph. Dr. Greenbaum, also known as Dr. L. Wilson Green, was a Jewish doctor who the Nazis coerced to participate in their experiments at Auschwitz. This individual, whose code name was Dr. Green, came to the U.S. after World War II and began experiments on adults and children for the military and the CIA. The military and CIA copied the Nazi methodology and began numerous programs of their own. The first CIA program was known as MKUltra. The MK is an abbreviation for the German words mind control. By 1953, the CIA, U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Army Chemical Corps were conducting their own narco-hypnosis programs on unwilling victims that included prisoners, mental patients, foreigners, ethnic minorities, and those classified as sexual deviants. To avoid confusion, the dozens of mind control operations will be referred to generically as MKUltra. According to MKUltra documents and sources, the methodology of mind control works best when severe trauma is administered by the age of three years old. Severe trauma, such as rape, applied at the age of three will cause the personality to split or dissociate in an attempt to shield the mind from memories or events too painful to endure. The psychiatric term is Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID, and can be produced accidentally or purposefully. The Three Faces of Eve is the true story of multiple personality disorder or DID created by childhood abuse. Psychic trauma and creation of multiple personalities was eventually codified into a standard methodology and is typically accomplished by forcing children to observe and participate in the ritual sacrifice of animals and humans and inducing further psychic trauma by means of rape and other horrors. 
The trauma causes the dissociation. This dissociation fun functions much like the partitioning of a hard drive in a computer. The dissociative state is used as an opening to hypnotically induce an alternate shell personality. The programmer uses triggers and hypnosis to call forth the created personality known as an alter personality. Only 20% of the general population is easy hypno easily hypnotizable, but trauma at an early age makes people vulnerable to dissociation and thus easily hypnotizable. Typically, the programmer might wear a costume such as a rabbit suit and sacrifice a rabbit or other animal in front of the child victims before they are physically traumatized. The image of the rabbit, a phrase from Alice in Wonderland, or similar paired images and phrases are used as the triggers to call forth the hypnotized alter personality. The method works best when trauma is repeated around six years of age. A few years later, the child victim's IQ test and personality tests are evaluated to determine whether the child may be trained in assassination, sexual blackmail, drug courier work, or other roles. Years later, the subject may be hypnotized and used for operations, but would only be consciously aware of the sense of lost time. Dr. Sidney Gottlieb, who employed these early programmers, also concentrated on the use of LSD for mind control and exotic poisons and drugs for political assassinations. He gave LSD to an unknowing fellow scientist, Dr. Frank Olson, who worked for the Army Chemical Corps Special Operations Division at Fort Detrick, developing biological weapons. Olson committed suicide by jumping through a window on the 10th floor of a hotel. Dr. Gottlieb concealed his actions and the Olson family was unaware of the cause of his suicide until 27 years later when the facts emerged during hearings on CIA abuses. The link between Gottlieb and Olson illustrates how the development of different elements of mind control are intertwined with biological and chemical weapons development, radiation testing, and the building of Manchurian candidates.